Hey, welcome back to my blog. Uh, today, I want to I want to introduce you to Jeff Coster. Jeff's been a, a great friend, a good client, and uh, he owns a company called uh, Rhino. Well, no, you you corrected me today. The Rhino Group, but if you if you see his cars around, it says Rhino RX, and so that's what I always call it as Rhino RX. But you'll answer to anything, won't you? Well, if you call, we'll answer. Yep, there you go. We want to give you a tour, uh, show you what Jeff does, and, and uh, I might let Jeff uh, give the tour and show you uh, show you all the products that he's involved in. But you uh, you cater to the hospital industry. We service hospitals in Nebraska and Iowa. We do capital equipment, which just means everything that's too heavy to carry into the hospital. Uh, the big things involved with the construction process. We're heavily involved with the architects and engineers in the area. Uh, most importantly for us is we drive service as a key component of what we do. We have service technicians in Nebraska and Iowa. We have offices in Kearney and Omaha and Iowa City. So we cover the area very extensively. We've got deep penetration into those areas. I never want to have to make an excuse for why we couldn't show up to take care of somebody. It's really important that we fulfill that promise and take care of the customers who are kind enough to place their trust in our business. Yeah. And you're, you're thinking right now maybe going up into North and South Dakota? Yes, okay. looking at opportunities up into the Dakotas, there's a lot going on with the oil industry up there, so we have an opportunity to, to go up and take advantage so of that you, and help uh, those folks out. If you have connections in uh, Sioux Falls, Vermilion, uh, Yankton, out in Rapid City, up in the Balkans, uh, in through those areas, make sure you give Jeff a call and uh, he may be heading up there. So let's, uh, let's take a tour. We do a lot with the architectural community, as I said, we do, this is called a patient head wall where we'll come into the rooms and do the oxygen and vacuum and all the different gases and electrical and video and, and uh, computer outlets, those kind of things. It allows the nurses to come in, have the best access to the patient and take the best care of them. And it's critically important as we do that, that we take care of the whole process. We're involved from the early onset working with the architects and engineers on up through the uh, clinical education of the nurses at the end of the project to make sure that they're comfortable with what we do and what we provide it to them so that we're addressing their needs and then helping them make the best use of the product. So you, you help with all the components that are in the individual nurses stations including uh, computers and, and where the, where the uh, screens are and, and all that kind of stuff. So all the setups for the communication. Communication mm -hmm. in healthcare is critically important. Mm -hmm. All the data, all the video images, those kind of things you've heard of PACS, which is the archive mm -hmm. digital uh, x-ray right. images. Right. That's critically important and you have to provide pathways th for those, whether it's in a regular patient room or in an operating room like we've, we've kind of mocked up over here. So it, again, in the surgery suite, we'll provide everything in the suite with the exception of, of the video equipment that's on the boom and, uh, and the anesthesia machine. We just never have, have done that, but we provide the equipment as well as the follow-on service. Obviously, if the equipment's placed out there and it's not taken care of and not maintained, it's not providing the best possible benefit to the hospital. So I, I see here that the... Uh uh, you've got, uh, it's called Skytron? Skytron is, that, Skytron is our manufacturer for the surgery equipment. Number one in North America, when you look at the product class that's tables, lights, and booms, if you put those together in the video integration piece, the part for the video, uh, if you put those together, Skytron's the number one company in North America for that combination mm -hmm, of product. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you do the you do the uh, surgical beds and, yep. and uh, surgical tables, the gurneys, gurneys, stretchers, okay. exactly the stretchers okay. and gurneys for eye surgery as well as general purpose surgeries, um, and and transport and those kind of things with with that. A while back, I uh, quite a while back, I, I had some surgery, and one of the nicest things coming out of surgery was they had these uh, heated blankets. Yes. So do you get into those also? Yes, absolutely. We've got a couple of things with that. The blanket warmers become a very big deal for patient satisfaction and comfort, which is one of the driving forces in healthcare right now. The feedback from the patient is going to become a huge part of the way hospitals are judged and consequently the way they're, they're reimbursed. Yeah. So that becomes a big deal and, and nothing drives patient satisfaction like a nice warm blanket. Yeah. In addition, which we just introduced last week in San Diego at the AORN a brand new product, which is pa or tabletop pads that heat. They're heated, warming tabletop pads 
so that you can have them pre-warmed up so you don't get cold huh. when you get on yeah. the table. Yeah. It maintains the temperature during the surgery. Now these, these warming blanket machines, can we get those for houses? <laughs> I know you'd like to have one too. An electric, electric blanket makes it make nice wherever you are. Oh yeah, that's true. You can just go there. Uh, so finish, finish showing us uh, the rest here. Real quick, one of the things that everybody wants their hospital to look like a hotel, we've accomplished a way to do that. This is an older product for us, but one that's been very, very popular, particularly with labor and delivery rooms, where we can have all the services accessible, but uh -huh. hidden huh. behind a piece of art in, in the labor wow. and delivery rooms wow. or executive suites or yeah. VIP suites, those kind of things. So Somebody was thinking when they put that together. That aesthetic is really important. Everybody, the healing environment is going to become a huge part of what is the drivers in healthcare right now is that healing environment, which involves quiet, which involves aesthetic, which involves colors and lights and those kind of things. So it's a really big part of what's being done in healthcare yeah. right now. And you do, so you do a lot in, uh, in uh, neonatal and, and Neon that type of we've got a great background in neonatal. We've done a lot of the uh, neonatal units in the area as well as labor and delivery. Uh, Skytron has a unique birthing room light that runs off of a flashing strobe light. That's really a cool thing and kind of sets us apart and makes us unique too. Huh, that's awesome. Now you've got a website, right? www.rhinorx.com. If you're outside the area, it's 888 RhinoRx. Now, this. What's this contraption? That, uh... one, of the, one of the big deals that's happening uh, is the healthcare workers are finding that they're getting shoulder and back injuries. Mm -hmm. So the ability to lift the patient is becoming more and more important. Oh, a lot, sure. a lot yeah. of states are going to a no lift policy. They're eliminating mm -hmm. any lifting at all in healthcare. This is a floor stand version of the product from Goldman. Goldman is a Danish company, so I'm kind of partial to them. Yeah. Uh, but it's also available in, in a similar style that mounts into the ceiling and allows you to have the patient lift or turn or transported within the room with the ceiling, ceiling yeah. track system. I know my daughter's a nurse and uh, she's experiencing some back issues because of uh, uh, lifting patients, so I can see where this can come in. Uh, uh, very handy. Over very handy. over time, it's critically important, and inf unfortunately, there's not as many young people as we need getting in into nursing right now. So, if anybody's thinking about a career, nursing is one of those great ministry opportunities and uh, a great great career that there's always going to be jobs for. Sure. People. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So, so if you if you uh, know anybody in the medical field, especially nurses. Uh, uh, operating uh, doctors, uh, any anything in that nature, they can actually come here and they can see this whole display set up. Absolutely. So currently, your address is what? 5005 South 110th Street here in Omaha. Okay, and uh, my understanding is you're looking for a new location and we're kind of working on that right now. Uh, so we'll keep you posted. If something should change in that regards, we'll uh, put it up on his website. And your website again is www.rhinorx.com. Now, why Rhino? Where'd you come up with the name? About 30 years ago, I read a book called Rhinoceros Success. It says everything you'd expect it to say. It talks about two inch thick skin and charging through the jungle and all those kind of things. But the most important thing it says is that the Bible is the ultimate success manual and you should read it even if you have to hide in a closet so that nobody knows that you're reading it, which is kind of where I was at the time. Subsequent to that, I was fortunate enough to fly with the Air National Guard down in Lincoln in the uh, F-4 Phantoms, which is also nicknamed the Rhino. So hmm. people either love it or they hate it, Bill, but they don't forget it. Yeah, so were you a pilot? I was a, I was a goose. I oh, was the navigator. I was a second, goose. second seat back. Yep. Yeah. How much fun was that? Best part-time job in the world. Man, big boy like you, you even fit in it. It's, uh, Little uh, snug. Yeah, no doubt. Well, good for you. Thanks for uh, taking the time, and and uh, you've been a great friend and a good client. So, look him up, and uh, we'll get back to you later with another topic.